Hey guys and welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful plastic handle bag. The instructions for the template will be over at the blog post which will be in the information icon as well as down below and also links for any of the items I do use in the tutorial. Today I'm going to be using these handles. I actually got them over at the thrift shop but you can get them at your local sewing store. Um, you can use circles or I have these D shaped ones. So for this tutorial, I will be using a cotton fabric for the lining and a rayon for the outer fabric. So first thing you're going to do is of course, create your template and then cut out two pieces of your outer fabric and two pieces of your lining. Next, we're going to take one of the lining and one of the outer fabric, put them with the right sides together. And then we will do that again with the other two pieces. And then we're gonna sew along the top of it with a half inch seam allowance. So where we are sewing is technically the opening of the bag. So we'll do that for the other two remaining pieces. And then it's going to look like one large piece. And then after that, we are actually going to take the two large pieces, put them with the right size together. It's a little bit hard because I don't have the best vantage point in this video, but I am putting the right sides of the fabric of the outer fabric together and then the right sides of my lining. Of course I am just using a white fabric so that doesn't matter. There is no right or wrong side for that but just make sure that whatever fabric you have they are the right sides together if there is a right side <laughs> if that makes sense. And then we will sew around the curved edge of the one side and then we will sew along the curved edge of the lining and then that little short side there, we're not gonna sew there at all. But with the lining, we are going to leave a three inch hole at the bottom and this will be used for turning. So you're just gonna sew all the way around that curved edge, making sure you aren't sewing those straight edges. So I'm doing that separately, the lining portion and then the body of the bag portion. And then after that, you are going to find that hole that you left and we are going to pull at the seam and then bring the lining and the outer fabric together. We will line up those um, side seams, I think it is, and we'll pin that into place and we'll do that for both sides. So I hope you're enjoying the tutorial so far. If you do decide to make this, I would love to see it. So go over to Instagram or Facebook and follow me, join the community. I post a lot of behind the scenes and you know, just my life over there. So if you want to make friends, then uh, definitely come over and follow. Okay, so now we're just going to sew those edges. So we're gonna do both sides. And then the whole entire bag is inside out now. So you're going to go find that little hole that we left at the bottom of the lining and we will flip the entire bag right sides out. So you're just going to make sure you poke out all your little corners and everything and put the lining inside the bag. And then if you need to press the edges of the opening of the bag, you can do that as well. And this is how it will look. I really love how the rayon actually reacts. It doesn't really wrinkle. So I think it just looks beautiful and I'm obsessed with this fabric. So if you're wondering what this fabric is and I will also link that in the blog post. So now I'm just going to do a top stitch all along the opening of this bag and then I'm going to reach in and then I will do a top stitch in that hole that we left at the bottom. Um, just so we can close that up and then I'll just do a quick um, I think I use a number three stitch length I like to have it a little longer when I do my top stitching just because I think it looks a little bit more professional so that is my pro tip and then after that we can start to install our um, our handles so I am using a D shaped handle, which 
I don't necessarily love, so if you have a circle one, I would recommend using a circle one. I don't even know if you could find a D1. Like I said, this was super old. I found it at a thrift store, so. But this is how it's gonna go. So I'm gonna fold down the top of one side two and a half inches. And I'll pin that into place. And this can be a little bit finicky, so I do recommend using a marking tool or some chalk, something that will disappear. And I'm going to trace along that edge. So this pen does disappear pretty fast, so I had to get it done super fast, otherwise I was kind of lost. It was already kind of disappearing already. But we will just get it started, like I'm doing here, and then we'll just do a top stitch. And I just go along that same um, row of stitches that were the top stitch, just so that it's kind of hidden. And I'm just going to go along, and there is the line there that I left with the marking. So just making sure that that edge is lining up with the line that I drew and then slowly I will pull the handle towards me, um, keep sewing, and then it will bunch up behind the needle, which is perfect because um, it can get really finicky if you don't do it this way. So just going to keep going until I get to the end and then make sure you back stitch. Um, a few times just because there is going to be the most strain on these stitches so you want to make sure that they are nice and secure and also to do it a little bit of a tighter stitch length just so that it's nice and tight and then I'll just do the other side and then that's it it is so cute and easy and you can use this as a little market bag or you know, a purse. I just love how this turned out and I am obsessed with this fabric. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be alerted of future tutorials. And also don't forget to follow me on my social media, which is all linked below. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye guys.